Hi guys, my name is Nelly and this is Nelly DB. So if you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe. And if you like this type of content, please do leave me a like and leave me a comment down below. I take all questions if you have all the questions. I'm a South African based YouTuber and I do a sex edutainment channel. So I have other things to offer in this channel. I just haven't indulged in them yet, but I'm kind of like going to bring you guys and you start financially. Uh, how to take care of your money once you've got your money from your sugar daddy or your dom or your master whoever you call them once you've got your money and how to manage your finances and also I have other aspects where I'm just gonna share with you guys where I'm gonna be taking uh, cooking lessons and I'm gonna bring you guys along I am a sub and I'm here to share my sub experience on certain things so I'm going to be giving you a few tips and my own perspective on BDSM so today's video is bondage and sex toys so how to bring bondage sex toys into your sex life so this can apply if you are vanilla or you're into BDSM or you are interested in getting to BDSM so this is what you need to know so let's start with when you are like ready to use toys in your bedroom what you need to know Okay, let's start with, you need to start with your basics. So don't go like you're advanced, you're gonna go for like super restraints, things you don't understand. You're gonna go with, what's it called? Shibari or like those type of like robes, like those intense robe or anything super intense. If you're starting with BDSM, always start with the basics. So your basic may include like blindfolds, and restraints so with blindfolds anything that can anything you have around the home can be used as a blindfold like including your scarf uh, including your underwear as well can be used as a blindfold a tie can be used as a blindfold so try and find things that are not going to cost you uh, and try and test it out before you go and buy like the blindfolds because they can be super expensive just because they're under bdsm Okay, why is this not open? So yeah, and also with handcuffs as well, you can use things around the house. If you already have, like in the law enforcement, you can use your handcuffs. I don't know about that, but yeah. Try using things around the house before you go super extreme and try the feel of them and see how they work and how you like them. If you like it, then good. So blindfolds uh, are under sensory depra uh, deprivation. So like you're depriving your, your partner like the sense of seeing. So now they have to just go off their own sense. So it's another kink, which you can go and check out on my types of kink video that I already have out. It's in the series as well. Uh, yeah, you can check that out. So when you have started with the, uh, the the basics, so let's understand the blindfold. So blindfold is part of sensory deprivation, as I've said. It's a kink that I have an explanation of in the, my previous video. Okay, so also another thing, another tip that you need to follow is take things slowly when you in, you're embarking in this journey. So this journey is a very slow journey. You need to be able to research. You need to do a lot of things before you jump into this. You can't just wake up one morning and say, hey, let's try BDSM and then just go through that. Because BDSM needs you to be mentally uh, in a good space, physically in a good space, emotionally in a good space. Like it, 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 it has a lot of aspects into it that you can't just jump into it. So take things slowly whenever you just starting or curious about bdsm so let's start with the bondage kit so the bondage kit is just two simple things that you need to make sure that you always have whenever you are embarking in um bondage so with bondage you need to firstly have reassurance understand reassurance and practice reassurance so reassurance is just checking on with your partner uh at the time like okay did i like tie you too tight or is the blindfold still comfortable in your face it's just reassuring your partner that everything reassuring yourself and your partner that everything is still going on and also i like to put under reassurance is kind of like checking in with your partner saying what you are gonna do especially with the blindfold uh saying what you're gonna do before you do it and let them confirm with the safe word before you even like go ahead and do it so Get concerned first before you even do anything, especially with blindfolds. <laughs> like get concerned first. And another the the second part of like the bondage kids is having fun. Always make sure that you and your partner are both having fun 
and go in with it in mind with having fun not just something super stressful because if you make it something super stressful you both of you guys are going to be stressed and it's not going to be a very comfortable experience so let's go with the types of bondage that uh, you can explore we have sensory deprivation so sensory deprivation again as I mentioned it's blindfolding like depriving a sense so it's like covering their eyes so now they don't have their their sight they then curious with what is gonna go on even though you still need to confirm what you're about to do first and then they will be they will have like, like anticipation and it really like builds up really good I enjoy that and then we have facial bondage with facial bondage so this goes with covering your your face uh, it covers your cheeks and it can cover your mouth as well or it can even cover your whole face and under facial bondage we also include gagging gagging is different in a sense that it only covers the person's mouth uh, we've also seen like gagging balls we have seen like a stuffing underwear in a person's mouth or stuffing a socks uh, that's some form of gagging so you can also practice that with without actually having to buy a toy you can like stuff the underwear in their mouth or you can stuff a uh, clean socks in their mouth some people prefer clean underwear i mean i like the smell of my pussy so i wouldn't mind like my own my own underwear uh also a clean socks obviously you would have to be a clean socks if it were have to be like i would have i would have to be gagged like i would want a clean socks like but with underwear it could be clean underwear or it could be my underwear i like the smell of my pussy anyways okay so let's have uh another one it's a predicament bondage so predicament bondage uh it's when you obviously the name predicament like you're put in a situation when uncomfortable situation so predicament bondage is when you 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 tie your partner up in an uncomfortable manner uh it's all its sole purpose is just putting your partner in an uncomfortable position it's just to make them uncomfortable some people find a turn on with putting another person in an uncomfortable position so you have them tied up and they then you, you tie them up in a way that they have to crunch down and it's very uncomfortable to them and then we have torture bondage torture bondage its main aim is to deliver pain torture bondage its main aim is to deliver pain and it is mostly used as a form of punishment so some people like let's just say you've been like a very 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 bad girl and our master is like uh you need some form of punishment and they tie you up and they leave you there uh they leave you there for hours so that could be some form of torture bondage or they tie you up in bed and they just leave you there in bed that's some form of torture bondage uh it's some form of a kink as well some people like that some people find that as a turn on just being left there and not knowing what's going to happen next and being left there for a very long time it is also some type of bondage as well and then we have restrain 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 or restrictive bondage uh, this one is when it, it also explains yourself is when you restrain your partner from moving so this one is really like specific you restrain them from moving so they can't move they can't do anything you're the one who has full control in whatever you can do they can't do anything if you restrain them to a chair they just stuck in the chair until you take them out okay and the last one is chastity bondage so i'm sure you've heard of like the chastity ring it's the same thing it's forcing a person to abstain from sex or forcing a person to not have sex in any way or form so this come in different ways where you can just fully cover a person's body and uh, some people prefer to just watch another person have sex where they can't move and they can't engage in the sex so them having the urge to want to engage but can't uh, it, it's a turn on for them uh, yeah it's basically just forcing a person to not be able to engage in sexual activity so guys that's it uh that's all i have to say this time around i'm very sorry if this video is just too short uh that's all i have to say about a bondage and like being uh introduced into bondage as a beginner guys please do check out my other videos as well i have tons of videos out there and this is a series that you can follow and learn more about bdsm so guys thank you very much for watching check you on the next video